What's up guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to the first era of our relegation league. We're coming off a good win against Boston College, I think. I haven't played this in two weeks, but I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. And we've got a ton of these recruits coming in to visit. Sledge, we have lost the lead to Boise State, but he's coming in for a visit this week. Maybe we can impress him. Hill, we got a huge lead. Holy Cross, a huge lead. DeAndre Sanchez, we overtook uh, SMU again. Warren, we got a big lead. Winston, a big lead. Elliott, uh, looks like OU's coming for him. We got Carter, the outside linebacker, I'm not concerned with. Jeremy Johnson, Trey Ray. We got Scott Reed, who we're moving on up for. And we've taken the lead for the kicker. Exciting times. The big thing, we're at 4-2 on the season now, so that's a huge improvement for us. Unfortunately, we are 2-2 two two in conference, so we got some ground to make up. But we do have a win over Boston College. If we can beat Rutgers here, we'll have a win over them. This one's going to be tough, but last season we actually kept up with them pretty well. If you want to know how far ahead I am with the recording, the Rutgers episode just went up yesterday. So I am that far ahead right now. So hopefully this year with a better team, and if I don't make some dumb decisions, and if our quarterback doesn't get injured, should be able to get a win here. Or at the very least, impress some recruits. A ah, beautiful sunny day here in Amherst. Should have a good time. All right, Henry, this one's lining up for you real well. Come on. Get some blocks. There we go. Some pancakes. 44, you the MVP. Got the one pancake. Picked up a second block. I don't know if we're going to get this in. Oh, man, but we are already inside the five-yard line. 88-yard return right off the bat. Way to start. Can I capitalize? They got two spies. That's all right. Circle just Montgomery. Wide open. Me scrambling a little bit. Those uh, linebackers ran up on me. Blew their zone completely. That is the easiest, easiest 6 nothing lead we'll ever come across. It's going to bounce out to the outside. We're going to wrap him up. Still gets four yards. But we're not getting run over by Murphy. All right. Got him down on the third and six. I'm going to bring, uh, I'm going to bring Fry in a blitz. He's usually pretty good for those. Not this time. Get the tackle. No. Can't wrap him up. Someone get over here. Thank you, Thomas. I think that was me blowing that. Mm. And, okay, just two guys standing by him and not defending. Great job, guys. Excellent. Nice hole at the middle. Oh, nice move. Frazier's gone. Oh, that was beautiful. The blocking never works out that way for us. Yeah, bud. Get a big smile on. That was incredible. That's We've played three plays on offense. We have two touchdowns. All right. So we got him here on another third down, and I don't like my chances. It's going to be a draw, isn't it? No, it's a screen. I think he's got it, though. Oh, we stopped him just short. Oh, please take the field goal. Please just take the field goal. No, of course not. Because why would they make it that simple? We can't stop him. Haven't been able to stop him all game. Oh, we stopped him. Never mind. That's what I get from opening my mouth. Antonio freaking Fry. The MVP of our defense. We got to take advantage of this now. We got to do it. Don't get fancy. Just don't turn the ball over. That's all I care about. Oh, another broken tag. Oh, Frazier's bouncing off everyone. What, are they going for a strip here? Making this too easy. You know what? If they can't stop the run, maybe a screen pass isn't the worst option here. They didn't see it coming. I mean, it only picked up nine yards, but still. Frazier is going to get all of the offense today. Yeah, all right. I'll just run this one. That's fine. Oh, my God. There's nothing here. And no garbage outside animation. So just a free 27 yards. That's already 100 yards on the ground now because of that big run earlier. Especially if they're going to leave Wade open like that. And Frazier in for a touchdown. So they still got plenty of time, but that's going to be a two-possession lead for us. 
All right, so we force them to a fourth and two, and then we got a 15-yard penalty against us. So they get to keep the ball. Another 15-yarder against us. And they got the touchdown. Cool. All right, we're going to the halftime of this one, up 21-14. I mean, at least we got a lead. You're just hoping for another screen. There it goes. And there he goes. We just, we are not getting a stop today. We got one. That's all we're going to get. Even with the computer playing, we're not going to get a stop. And you know what would be great? Is if my linebackers would stop running into me. So I'm tripping over them trying to get these tackles. I'm not even getting blocked by the offensive lineman. I'm getting blocked by my own guys. All right, Barnes is out for the game with an injury now. So that's unfortunate for us. And he throws it away. It's fourth and four. They're out of field goal range, I think. So what are they going to do here? They're just going to punt it. Thank you. Ooh, turned the corner. Got the first down there. All right, Frazier. Nope. Oh, my God. That was an amazing truck that I held for way too long. All right. There's one way to get the pass yards. Just let Frazier just completely dominate this game. Really wish he was like a sophomore, but we're not going to have him the whole run. Or no, he is a sophomore. I wish he was a freshman. But, you know. So we got a three-year window to have a good uh, halfback. Quarterback's all set. Wide receivers look like they're all set. So we better win this national championship if we're going to do it within four. Mason with a big one. Oh. I don't know why I thought the juke there. I should have tried to stiff arm him. This isn't actually the play I wanted the audible into. But it works. Again, Frazier a big one. And in for another rushing touchdown for Frazier. Oh, is it uh, is it too late for him to get into Heisman consideration? Because we're getting to that point now. <sighs> Defense gave up another touchdown. So we're just overachieving, I guess. Oh, Henry broke that one out. Come on. Oh, no, he got caught. We need the yards. That, <laughs> we need the yards. That's how I'm going to look at it. Montgomery. Yep. Manages to snag that one. Oh, Mason. That was too easy for you, bud. And over in the corner, Montgomery. His second touchdown of the day. Thank you! Oh, the defense is forced to turn over. Thanks, computer. Just let the computer run it if we're up two scores or down two scores. I figure either way we'll play offense because I'm better at it. It'll make the game faster. And we need to impress the recruits, so I need to make sure we get these yards. Hawthorne with a big snag. He's taken down about the four. They're trying to strip the ball, too. Oh, yeah. I saw four. As soon as I saw the zone defense, I'm like, he's out on that out route. All right, we got a big lead. We're not going to play defense probably for the rest of the game. Looks like we got this one in the bag. But I do want to make sure we get those passing yards. They recovered the onside, but we're going to pass the ball here. Need another, I don't know, 15 yards or so? There it is. Oh, man, I threw a garbage pick at the end. Oh, well. I was just trying to get Mason another catch. I regret nothing. All right. Well, that got a little closer at the end than maybe it should have been, but we managed to uh, get a 10-point victory here at Rutgers, or, well, at home against Rutgers. Frazier, obvious player of the game. Over 200 combined yards, three touchdowns. You know he had to get it. All right, Moore goes 18-25 to 25 for 274 yards, three touchdowns, and that one force interception. Plus, I did take a sack. Frazier, eight carries, 116 yards, three touchdowns, including a 76-yarder. Frazier also led the team seven catches for 104 yards. Montgomery with four catches for 45 and two touchdowns. Barnes had no catches, two drops, and went out injured. Thornton led the day with eight tackles. Thomas and Alston had six, and Walker had five. No TFLs at all. Walker with the forced fumble and scooped it up for the fumble recovery. All right, we're going to jump forward a week, see if we sign any of these recruits, and we'll move on to part two. This will be a doubleheader. All right, all these visits, everyone seemed to have a good time, but no one committed. And we finally got Kitchen Sink. Ah, it's only 50 points, but it's going to help a lot. 
All right, so we do have the lead back on Sledge. Uh, okay, OU is kind of out of this one with Elliot. So I'm actually going to take points away from Carter here. I'm going to max out Sledge. I'm going to max out everyone I can, basically. And I'm going to try and lock up all these people. And then what I'll do is I'll split the points between Johnson and Carter until we get some more. All right, we're going to bring Ray in against Temple this week. Same thing, 64 overall cornerback. We're not going to get any of the stuff he needs either. So I'm not worried about impressing recruits. And all I'm really hoping for, basically, if we win here, we are definitely in contention to get uh, promoted. If we don't, then hey, we already got five wins. We're playing out the season and hoping for a bowl game. It's actually, it is a close matchup. Their defense is incredible compared to ours. So if we can just avoid some turnovers, kind of like last week where I just threw that one garbage interception, our defense should be able to handle their offense well enough where we'll get a couple of stops. You gonna be able to run the ball this week as well as we did last week? Maybe so. But Wade, on the other hand, can burn him out here. Screen pass works. Can't break off that tackle, but that's still eight yards and a first down. Ooh. Oh my god, he ragdolled. See, the problem is I hate every single pass that coach called. But I like this one, Montgomery, again. Oh, he has become a force in the last couple of weeks. He's always been really good for us. All right, read options are a thing. Kind of forgot. Didn't see one last week. Oh, there we go. Good job getting him to backfield. All right, defense steps up. Force is a fourth down. All right, so they missed the field goal attempt. That was a long one. I'm not surprised by it. This might be my most commonly run play out of this playbook. But it's just, it's so good. It didn't work this time, though. Slide down. Keep yourself safe. Oh, the blitzer got tripped up, but that D lineman's pretty quick. Still managed to pick up the first down, though. This is why it's tough for me, figuring out what we're going to do next year. I really like Royal as a pure passer, but he does, he has no speed. This is a risk. Oh, Barnes almost snuck it and got it. Nice snag by Mason. All right. I was afraid we weren't going to get any points out of that drive. We were like just out of field goal range. Ooh. Try to get more to move around a little bit. It is funny how in one season we've gone from not being able to run the ball at all to a pretty balanced attack. Oh, well, that probably did not need to get thrown. And Frazier in. Read option touchdown. Oh, it is... It's nice not only that I have the read option going, but that I'm finally doing it where I'm not getting my quarterback killed all the time. We're making the correct reads. And I'm sliding more frequently with more, or at least running out of bounds or something. Obviously, we're at 14-0, so defense is going to take over, or the computer's going to take over the defense now. Yeah, they uh, they didn't allow anything on that one. We can really capitalize here. Get that first down on the read option, though. We're good. Oh, Morris beat his man. Good snag. Brings that all the way to the 35. Let's take a timeout, because these guys are breather. 4-8 last year. Again, one of those wins. Kind of garbage. Lost to an FCF school this year. Oh, man. We're only two quarters away from bowl eligibility, boys. What a turnaround. Or, you know, I'll choke this one away. One of the two. I'm coming at a step. Oh, Wade managed I shouldn't have thrown that one, but it was his own. So I managed to stick that in a good spot. Do we have a fullback on this roster? It wants us to go fullback dive. We do have one. I don't know if he's any good. Here's your moment of glory, bud. And he failed. Yeah, I'm going to take that in for a rushing touchdown. They left me wide open lane there on the left. All right, so we're already like halfway through the third quarter. Defense held him to a field goal. Should just be able to keep pouring this one on. Again, Wade. I mean, what are those called? They're not out routes. What the hell is that route called? Reverse post. We're going to call it that because I'm an idiot. 
Oh, he was all over that one. Dang it. I tried to get cute. I'm like, I haven't run this route and done it successfully since, like, year three of North Texas. Yeah, no, I, I shouldn't have thrown that one. He was in perfect position. Thank you! And then we forced a fumble and Thornton picks it up. Defense, thank you. I promise I won't do that again. No more getting cute. That is not getting cute. That's just wide open. Hey, I'll cheese. If I gotta go out routes, if I gotta go bench swap every other play, whatever it's gotta be. PA smash just popped up. I barely even looked. I just saw PA and I'm like, nope, that's it. And there it goes. Fuller. If I score another touchdown in this drive, I'll probably just super sim it to like, I don't know. I'll just watch the super sim. Maybe that'll be the end of the game. Big over pursuit by that linebacker. Oh, I thought we got a pancake by the wide receiver. I got excited. No, the cornerback put the wide receiver on his back. And Morris getting a rushing touchdown today. All right, that uh, that might be all you see today. We're going to super sim forward. Unless it gets close, I'll probably just let the computer run this one out. Yeah, all right, it's 28-18. It's not close, but um, I'm not about to let them choke this, uh, this game away. Nice pancake. Yeah, there, that's much better. Let them burn through their timeouts. We missed a field goal and everything. Oh, Powers, that was a very athletic interception. We killed most of the clock. They got no timeouts. Let's get it done, defense. Mm. Wow. Yeah, all right. We'll just run the clock out. And that's it, guys. Bowl eligibility. Well, maybe. I think we got to win, like, one more game because we have the FCS win. But bowl eligibility nonetheless. Player of the game goes to Thornton. Incredible game for him. Don't know if that impressed any of the recruits, but I don't care. We got the win. All right, so stats on the day. It doesn't look great. Moore went 17-22, 221 yards, one touchdown, two picks, and no sacks. Just terrible force passes by me. Rushing Frazier with 115 yards and a touchdown. Moore with 40 yards and a touchdown. And Morris got in there with one run for three yards and a touchdown. Receiving Montgomery, 4 for 55 and a touchdown. Wade, 4 for 55. Mason, 3 for 36 in the rare drop. Yeah, Thornton led a day. 10 tackles, including a TFL. Lowe with 6. Huff with 5. Smith and Lowe with the only TFLs on the day. That's not impressing the recruits, although Smith did at least get a sack. Freeman with the only pass deflection. And Thornton forcing that fumble and scooping it up. All right, we're not going to wrap up here. We're actually going to sim forward one more week, and we'll take a look, see if we sign anybody now that we got Kitchen Sink going, and see if these uh, visits went well enough to get anyone to sign. How about that? We got Mark Holy Cross and Alan Elliott, both of them signing. And we had an NCAA Player of the Week. That's how impressive Thornton was today. Oh my god, ECU was 0-8. Sledge looks like it's going to be a battle to the end. Hill, we're going to lock him up this week. I don't think we're getting Sanchez, guys. Warren, we should have locked up. Winston, easy. Carter, even with only giving him 250. Johnson, same thing. Ray, we got a big lead. Robert Thornton, yeah, there you go, bud. Look at that. That's the kind of impact we needed. Still sitting there number three in the conference. Two teams we lost to are both in front of us, so we're going to need some help. But everyone else has two, so if we win out, we're going to win. We're going to be at least third place. East Carolina next week will not be a crucial matchup for us, but I still want to win it. Either way, we're hopefully going to be able to get promoted after this season if we can win out in our conference, which is doable as long as we can stop Army's triple option, which is garbage. So hopefully. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, whatever for this series, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out. Thornton led the day with eight tackles. Thomas and Alston kicked in with us. Uh, Either way, everything is fluid and we have bigger things to worry about. East Carolina, this game actually isn't important because I actually forgot they were in the ACC. But 
we it's this season is still important. We're still trying to not uh not stay in the ACC. Oh, my brain just ain't. My mouth is out running my brain. It even happens when I'm trying to explain that. <laughs>